I'm going to show you now how to use a bowl pipette. So the first thing we need to do is attach the bowl to the glass pipette. You'll see on the, pipette, on the bowl there are different regions with different letters. Up here there is an A, down here there's an S, and here there's an E. We want to attach the bottom that's closest to the E to the top of our glass pipette. Just be gentle. It's very easy if you use too much force in this hand to snap the pipette and if that happens the broken edge can gouge into you so be very careful and gentle. If you're worried at all or if you're in any doubt ask your teacher for help. Okay. In order to fill up the pipette what we do is place the end into the beaker of liquid we want to pipette. We can let go of it, it's quite securely attached there. Alright, what we do is we press, we squeeze the A and then we'll squeeze the bowl and that lets us squeeze all of the air out of the bowl up and out through this tube here. What we then do is hold the pipette, squeeze the S, S stands for suck. So we can squeeze the S, we can squeeze it quite hard and it will suck up really fast or you can squeeze it more gently and it will suck up more slowly. Again, you want to get down to eye level to make sure you're sucking up an accurate volume. When you get the volume you need, simply lift the pipette out of the liquid, move it over to the other vessel you're wanting to empty your liquid into, then we push, squeeze this E, E stands for empty. Now it's best to lay the tip of the pipette against the inside edge of the vessel you're emptying into. This will help avoid splashes. Squeeze the E and the liquid will empty out of the pipette. You'll notice that there is always going to be a small amount of liquid left over stuck in the bottom of the pipette. That's fine, that's okay. These volumes are calibrated to take that into account. 